Okay, guys, I'm going to upload this video because this is for you, Avery Shannon. I know we don't know each other that well, but I just want to tell you that it's very evident to me and everyone else that I've listened to that the, the, the streets are getting to you. Like, you need to log off, boo-boo. Uh, you need to take some time away from you, too. Um, and you need to leave Queen Bee and her hive alone. You know, if, if for no other reason, they haven't done anything. You're the one that dropped the racial slurs. I mean, it was you, you know? And you didn't just stop there. You followed through with even more uh, racial, racially um, derogatory things yesterday and last night. And then you go on her panel and you threaten people. I mean, girl, you know, and if your sister is an attorney, well, she ain't a very good one is all I can say because she should have told you that you know, you really ain't got, you can't hold somebody else responsible for what somebody else says. I mean, come on there last night saying that you're, you know, going to hold her responsible and that, uh, you know, somebody was going to die. Girl, that's, that's jacked up. That's jacked up that you would like even think to say that. You know, it really is. It really is. And then this is the other thing. I think that if you were sent the thing where Laura supposedly was messaging someone else and called you the awful slang thing that you said. If you were indeed sent that, you yourself questions the validity of that because of this reason only. This is what I think. My opinion. The way you've hated Laura up until yesterday, you disliked her like you do Dolly. You didn't like neither one of them, okay? Girl, if you had that and you really thought that that was valid and that that was authentically what Laura said, girl, you would have already played those cards and drug Laura through the mail, uh, through the mud. Not just once. You probably would have drug her a couple times because every time you had the opportunity to get on someone's panel that was ragging on Laura, you were there with bells on, you know, with your little bushy eyebrows ready to talk and tell what you know how you feel about her so the fact that you didn't do that and you sat on that for at least six months girl you know that you may not have created that message but girl you know you question that the validity of that come on you know that but anyway it's your credibility is not what it should be and from a creator to another creator, girl, you need to log off and take a break. Spend some time with your family and take a break. Because really and truthfully, you need to, uh, you have offended enough people. You really have offended a lot of people, Avery. You need to think about doing a sincere apology, leaving it up, and just letting that be it. Just do the apology. Don't put, um, you know, but after it or follow up with anybody's children or anything like that. You owe Queen Bee an apology, the Hive an apology, but you also owe the community an apology for saying the racist slurs that you said. So, girl, that's just my advice from me to you. Okay, you ain't got to take it, but you should. Diamond Cutter out.